we'd like to demonstrate the new machinist mode in the Kipware sketchpad uh, and how easy it is to create a roughing program for a pocket with islands. We'll start the sketchpad and go grab a, a DXF file. The square represents our island and uh, inside the pocket. Inside the machinist mode, uh, first thing we have is a tool library where the user can design returning and milling tools to use uh, in the machinist mode. I'm going to go grab a half inch round tool that we have already designated. When I turn the machinist mode on for milling, uh, you can see that my tool uh, is moved by the by the mouse. So my mouse is a graphic representation of the cutting tool. Every place that I double click uh, along the part, the sketch file will record that dimension and then we can designate depth of cut and we cr create a tool path from just our 2D uh, representation on the part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. And as I double click, now uh, the sketchpad has recorded that position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to vertical mode. And I, wherever I put the mouse, uh, it's always going to be a vertical line. Uh, so no matter where I position the mouse along the part, uh, horizontal and vertical mode, uh, it can be a, a horizontal or vertical line. If I shut it off, uh, I can be in freehand mode, and I can just simply move the tool around the part and record those positions. So now I'm going to switch to horizontal mode. And I'm going to overlap the cutter about that much. Uh, back to vertical mode. I'll just designate some point along the part. Of course, this is a roughing program. Uh, finishing inside the sketchpad is done by just selecting the finish contour, uh, and the sketchpad will automatically go through and create a finishing program. Uh, but this is a roughing program. Uh, go back to horizontal mode, overlap the cutter, back to vertical mode, and I'm just going to move the mouse around the part. switching between my horizontal and vertical mode by just hitting the H or V key on the keyboard. I'm going to stay away a little bit here so I can come back and take another cut. I'm going to switch to horizontal mode and I'm just going to uh, select an area where I want the cutter to go. A vertical mode I'm going to position it uh, right down the middle of the slot. Uh, back to horizontal mode to this corner right in the middle of this particular area. Uh, back to horizontal mode. Oh, very easy to correct a mistake. Just hit last. Actually we need to be in vertical mode. Now horizontal mode and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a profile around the pocket. Back to vertical mode and I want to be in the middle here. So then I'm going to come back horizontal and position my tool here. And I'm finished. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit G code and we can designate cutting parameters uh, to make that depth of cut and to do that profile that we created on the screen. So uh, I chose a rapid plane of one inch, zero point for the top surface. Uh, I told it the part was minus one inch thick, a hundred thousandths for a lower clearance plane to wrap it around the part tool number, RPM. I put a depth of cut of 50 thousandths in here. So we got a one inch deep part, uh, 50 thousandths depth of cut. Cutter diameter, feed rates. Then just hit create program. The sketchpad will automatically go through. Create that G-code program based on my positions around the part. And that's 50 thousandths depth of cut, a uh, one inch deep. So very simple to make a program with the sketchpad in the machinist mode. I'll just move the tool and create depth of cut and you've got your G-code program.